Welcome to another sneak peek of SOLIDWORKS 2015 where today we're going to take a look at a new enhancement to the linear pattern. Linear patterns are a great way to quickly reproduce geometry inside of SOLIDWORKS. For example, I may want to have six of these countersunk holes equally spaced. You'll notice that I set them at 85 millimeters apart and SOLIDWORKS will always remember this, even if I decide to increase the length. In this case, a lot of users oftentimes generate an equation to make sure that the end hole maintains a specific distance off from the end. Likewise, if I were to shorten this plate to where it was shorter than the linear pattern, this would cause the feature to fail. This is because the pattern extends beyond the distance of the plate. Well, now there's a new option in linear patterns called up to reference. Up to reference allows me to specify the end of the pattern. Let's show you what I mean by simply pressing OK. If I make adjustments to this plate now, such as increasing it to 300 millimeters, SOLIDWORKS adds an additional instance every time it can and stops when it gets to the end. But that's not all this powerful new capability can do. You'll notice there's also the ability to, instead of controlling the distance between spacings, to define the spacing itself. Likewise, we can set a distance offset from the end. For example, I may want to always ensure that it's offset the same distance as the first instance. Let's take a look at how this affects this. I've always said I want four instances. Now if I make any changes, I can even do this dynamically, you'll see that the spacing between the instances is always maintained, regardless of what the value is. Likewise, if I decide to change this pattern in any way, for example, adjusting the number of instances, SOLIDWORKS will always retain the equal spacing between them. This is a great new and powerful capabilities to linear patterns that's sure to make everyone's lives a little bit easier.